We have specific features which clearly show this is a Porsche. If you take the cross section above the bonnet, for example, that the wings are higher than the bonnet. The proportions are not only dynamic, but I always say dramatic. The most important task was to make it a real Porsche, no matter the drive technology. And it was only our second step then to say, okay, electromobility, what new freedoms do we have? With electric vehicles, good aerodynamics are absolutely crucial. They always convert to a better range, which is why we said, okay, let's focus on this aspect. A real breakthrough here at the front is flow at the side, a very modern touch. The difference with the interior, of course, is that it has to be convenient for everyday use. How can I arrange all the information around me in a way that makes sense? We have a standalone screen, for example, actually on the instrument cluster. I think that we as designers always try to see how we can combine function and beauty. We have a couple of cool ideas, such as how certain pieces of luggage can be fixed at the back. Very lifestyle oriented. As far as functionality is concerned, a Cross Turismo does have one or two advantages over a classic sports car. Porsche has always had such ideas, but what we are showing you is the next step. If you talk about the design of the car, we always have the challenge to link it to the rest of the family, but as well we would like to give each and every car its own characteristics. In the case of the Michne Cross Turismo, we really put the focus on trying to combine different uh, vehicle characteristics, as well shown what you can do with the car. If you have a business meeting in the city, just take the car, but if you decide in the evening to go out to the beach or in the mountains, no problem, this car can handle this as well. So that was really the focus for this concept. We wanted to visualize very obviously that this is a new technology. So for example, uh, on the front with the, with the headlamps, this is very characteristic for this type of car. The light band in the rear is much more than a tail lamp. It is as well used to communicate between the user and the car. The rear light band indicates as well if the car is charging or not. We intend as well to use it uh, to communicate with, with other people in the traffic. If you take the front, the fenders are higher than the hood. Now with a car that doesn't have this huge block of iron anymore in the front, we get even more freedom. On the interior, I think the challenge is even bigger to connect the old world with the new world or the future. But for example, if you take the instrument, we have this driver-oriented uh, instrument. The graphic is uh, resembling, let's say, the old instruments and gives you really this feeling to be, as a driver, still the most important person in the car. A lot of people were surprised by the concept itself, so I think we managed to, to do something in a way, something new.